but this is the Billabong Pipe Masters, and today we will crown an event champion. It could be one of these surfers heading out into the lineup now in the first heat of round four. Former Pipe Master Jeremy Flores, Felipe Toledo, and Kolohe Andino. Uh, he's definitely looked psyched this morning. Europe's best taking off now, driving off the bottom, tucking up under the lip. Uh, as we mentioned, one of the best barrel riders on tour. That wasn't much of a wave, but Jeremy juiced every single point on offer out of that one. And now just a, a very careful duck dive to get back out. Uh, you know, so those guys didn't see this wave, Jeremy did. And it's those little backup scores that can make the difference. I know it's only a 2.83, but it just shows you how Jeremy's got that extra gear to find those little backup scores. The one common thread with each of them is how much time they seem to have under this heavy falling lip. Jeremy's one of those guys. Here goes Andino, deep in the barrel. Good looking pit. He's still charging through this oh, one. Wow. And he somehow punches through the foam ball. This year's Pipeline Masters. You know, he went over the foam ball a couple of times. He went through it right there. I mean, he has passed the foam ball and went into another one just as deep. So twice it looked like he was going to be too deep to make it, and he busted through. This is going to be an awesome angle right there. Look at that. Just touched the foam ball, and again, a couple weaves to get some speed up, and then did it again. So that's two crazy barrel rides on one wave. I mean, if I'm a judge, I'm throwing this bad boy a 10. Have a look at that. That's, he was at the front door, and he walked through the house, <laughs> knocked on the back door, Absolutely. walked out to the shed, walked through that, so what made this barrel so technically crazy is, you know, he wasn't just standing there. He didn't just stand there in a perfect shack. That thing was messy. It was fast. He had to do a lot of weaving to get that speed up, to max out his speed so that he could, you know, make it out there. He couldn't just cruise. And uh, he's fun to watch. Whenever he's watching his son, he is just nervously pacing up and down the beach. So he's going to be calmed down a little bit. Well, Jeremy Flores is taking off now, and he's going to get a chance to find his way through a couple of barrel sections. Gets an exit there, so didn't get that big bonus section that Kolohe found, but the first segment was pretty nice. Kolohe knows that, it's not over. And this wave feels to me like a, you know, maybe a high six or maybe a seven. Kind of a technical little second double up there that he doggy doored. But Jeremy's gonna be hunting, he will not give up. Oh, and Dino going scrambling for a backup number at the moment. This wave lining up pretty nicely. A bit lumpy at the start, but he's still charging through it. And he just seems so sturdy on that board at the moment. Almost punched through the foam there. Just over 13 minutes to go, and Dino and Flores starting to push ahead. Um, I think that just adds to the confidence um, every time you paddle in for a wave. Uh, and yeah, I'm just trying to get to know this place as well as I can. Eh? And in Portugal, you're saying one of the things that is important to you is that routine of getting in the water early and doing all of those things. So is that still the preparation you're doing in every event? Yeah, I just take the same uh, preparation to all events. Um, I, I just love having my morning surf. You know, I feel like it really gets my body in the right place, and uh, yeah, just it makes it a lot easier for me to be able to compete. Well, Jody, we'll see you in round four. Well done. Thank you, Rosie. Back to live action now. Felipe Toledo lining up this pit has a sweet little run through it, but uh, it comes to an end right there on the closeout. Still signs of some morning sickness here at Backdoor and Pipe. You get that a lot. There's a, you know, Pupakea Mountains right behind us, Ronnie, and it, it takes a little time for that sun to pop up over it. And Dino with the best of them, a 9.93, also counting on a 1.23. Felipe getting things started. It was on his way to a decent score here, Ross. Absolutely. Uh, I love that, that he bottom turned around the mushy section and then pulled in in a nice shack there. Something standing up here, Jeremy, using his experience, looking at it, saying, no, it's not the way for me. And Dino, he's happy to swoop on it. And he tucks in, stalls, gets a decent amount of cover, can add some points here. Bit of a two-stage grab rail carve. Not a lot of numbers in that, but and Dino will move further ahead. Flores now taking off behind him. This wave has a little less water on the reef. He tucks in. He's deep in the tube, still rolling through this one. But he gets pushed down, trying to ride through that pinching barrel. Paddle battle here. Colohe Dino scratching to get out in front of him. And now Felipe. He'll get his best ride. Finds the exit and goes to add some points with a big air reverse. Almost sticks it. 
and he will get priority. So Flores should get another shot at it with two minutes remaining. Felipe on the replay, Ross. Clean barrel, but pretty textbook. You know, it didn't have much uh, trickery in there. He was able just to stall and stand tall. Right there, he stalled again twice, wiping off speed. So nice little barrel for Felipe. Not sure how much points this little reverse would have added. You know, today it's 95% barrels. You know, maneuvers aren't going to have too much weight. And this wave I didn't like. You know, it had to see that swell right in front of it. It was sucking energy out of this wave. It, it had this weird double up. It was almost uh, as if two different swells were interacting with each other, and it made that wave really funky for Jeremy. So I was a little surprised he took it. Kolohe and Dino, perfect backup score. I don't think it's going to be a big number, but that's going to up the ante huge. Yeah, both those waves kind of had that odd swell line in front. Typically, that second wave in the set, a little bit more water off the reef. I made that point, but in actual fact, you're right. There was a, a funky little wave in front of Jeremy's ride, which uh, meant that it didn't open up. He's blowing up. Time coming to an end. Just five seconds remaining. And Felipe just making life difficult for his rivals in the final stages of that heat. But <laughs> it, did, it really didn't matter. 9.93 for Andino. And there uh, might have been a, a bit of an interference there. Just waiting to get the results. Jeremy's not happy.